In this video, what we're going to do is go through how to do year-end inventory adjustments. And pretty much everything that we're going to touch on here applies to any inventory adjustment or manual adjustment that we're going to be doing. But um, I wanted to kind of walk you through the year-end inventory because there's some things that you may not do during the, you know, the miscellaneous times that you're just trying to adjust parts. So the first thing to keep in mind is whether we are using the ending value for inventory adjustments or an adjustment value. And that's actually set up in settings inventory defaults as to whether you're using ending value or adjustment. Now I recommend ending value primarily because I can do inventory and I don't have to worry about the fact that the inventory is already correct. So in other words, instead of having to count the parts first, determine whether or not I have a discrepancy before I actually do an adjustment. In the ending value, I just count the parts. It says I have five or I say I've counted five. I adjust for five items and then Lizzie looks and says, well, you already have five, so we're not going to do an adjustment. We'll just skip over it. If it happens to be off, then it will subtract it from what's in the inventory and make the ending value be five parts. So it greatly simplifies the amount of thinking that we have to do when we're actually going in and doing the adjustments. Now, there's a couple ways to do the adjustments, and I'm going to show them all to you here. Uh, if I type in a part number manually, uh, the system will give me the, the list of parts. I select it. I say I've got 10 of those. I hit the tab key. I hit the tab key again. Lizzie by default is going to show me a list of all of the bin locations that are currently in use by that particular part so that I can select the, the particular item or the particular bin that I'm trying to adjust for. So if I wanted to, for example, adjust in this particular bin, the system will add that information down here for me. That's one way to do it. Another way to get a part into that list is to look it up in the locate item screen find the part that we're trying to adjust and just click the adjust inventory button here and Lizzie will already fill everything in for me. I just tell it how many of them I have, hit the tab key, tab key, select the bin location that we're actually trying to adjust for and it'll add it into the, into the list down here. Now another way that I can do this is I can tell it that we're actually scanning, we're using a scanner and this primarily works for uh, Lizzie barcode scans, but if you're using the vendor scanner, then you're basically doing nothing more than typing in the, the number. So the system basically uh, types in the, the particular part number for you. And when, when it does, it'll actually select the quantity and fill in the, the information so I can change the quantity if I want. But you see it, it's pretty much, if I'm not using a Lizzie barcode scan, it's pretty much the same as what you would expect, uh, you know, if you were manually typing it in. Now, if we happen to be using a uh, inventory scanner and, it, and we're scanning a, a Lizzie barcode, then Lizzie actually embeds the bin location and everything in the part number for me. So it kind of saves me a little bit of a step with selecting the bin. Now, an additional method that we can use is to tell Lizzie that we're actually scanning individual barcodes. In other words, I'm not scanning a part number and typing a quantity in. I just want to scan a, a barcode label and let Lizzie put a quantity of one in the list down here. So every time I scan the part or the barcode, Lizzie's just going to increase the count down here in the bottom. Um, so this gives me the ability to not type anything, not select any bin locations. The barcode label has everything embedded in it, so I quite literally scan five times and the, the part number will be down here with the proper bin location selected and the quantity of five. Now in addition to that, the, uh, there's another option here that tells us that we would like to move our, any miscellaneous bin that we have into whatever bin we choose. So for example, if I was a little lazy when we were doing the initial invoice inventory and I had a bunch of parts that just got stuck in a miscellaneous bin and now I would like to actually assign a real bin location to it, um, by selecting that option, Lizzie says that if they select a bin location that's not miscellaneous, 
then look to see if there's parts already in the miscellaneous bin and move them into this new bin location instead of creating two separate bins that they later have to go and merge. So it's just a, you know, another option there to help speed things up. Now Lizzie also has the ability to allow you to select whatever expense account that you're going to be using. By default we uh, select the inventory shrinkage account, but if you want to adjust against a different account you can. The date of your adjustment, whether you want to print barcodes for the, the items that you're adjusting. And then we also support a couple different format of files and you'll have to get with the support to find out if your scanner uh, supports them but we do have the ability to actually scan on a handheld scanner and then upload those file adjustments to uh, the system. Now the uh, let's see if I can figure out how to close that. Um, so the, the, the process by which we adjust inventory is we select a bin location. So let's say we in our example in the in the working with inventory bins, we have a P2A2 is the bin that we're actually doing our adjustments in. What we would normally want to do is adjust that bin. So maybe there's 10 parts in that bin. We go through and put all of those parts into our adjustment screen and then we go ahead and process the adjustments. And to do that, you just click this this uh, option here. We mark that bin that we've, we have done inventory in it, and then we move down to, to the next bin location that we have available. Now, doing it that way allows us to do inventory and still run the dealership and be open without having to shut everything down to do inventory over a couple of days. We can actually do it on the fly um, as long as we don't do too much inventory and somebody sells the part that we're trying to count. Um, so you want to put the inventory in as you're doing it. Uh, you can use a barcode scanner if you've got barcode labels that you're scanning. And the, you know, the entire process goes pretty quickly uh, in that situation. So it's a, another good reason to, to use the barcode labels that are built into Lizzie because it does save you a considerable amount of time later on.